why the name Rugby Bricks? I was inspired a lot by Will Smith growing up, um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and just a lot of his videos, what he was doing, his style, his content, um, just loved his movies as well. But he was uh, speaking on stage once and he told the story about when you go out to, to build a wall, you don't go out and try to build the biggest, baddest wall and have this big picture uh, finalised. What you do is you take every brick and you lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid, take pride in that brick and really do this brick absolutely perfectly that you you don't try to build a wall you don't set out to build a wall you don't say i'm gonna big the, build the biggest baddest greatest wall that's ever been built you don't start there you say i'm gonna lay this brick yeah. as perfectly as a brick can be laid there will not be one brick on the face of the earth that's going to be laid better than this brick that i'm going to lay in this next 10 minutes yeah. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a and wall. And soon you have a wall. wall. Yeah. And I think psychologically, the advantage that that, that gives me over, over a lot of people that I I'm, have been in competition with in different situations is it's difficult to take the first step when you look how big yeah, exactly. the, the task is. The task is never huge to me. It's always yeah, me too. one brick. Me too. Mm -hmm. Your father, mm -hmm. I think I read. Absolutely. Had you and your brother mm -hmm. work on a ball of? Oh time? yeah, yeah. We that we're, we're talking about our figurative wall that, yeah. that that comes from work on a literal wall. Yeah, right. Uh, my, my father owned. Uh, it, was, it actually was an old bakery when I was growing up. My yeah, yeah my father was uh, an electrician and a uh, refrigeration man. We would we would install supermarkets. You see the long freezer cases yeah. in supermarkets. We would install those long freezer yeah. cases and all the lights. That's what, we right. would, that's what we would do every summer. Yeah. So this, uh, this one year, my father had his shop, and he decided for whatever reason that he wanted a new wall on the front of his shop. So he tore <laughs> down probably about uh, you know, 16 feet high and probably about uh, 30 feet long. He just completely tore yeah. the wall down, and my brother and I had to dig a six-foot hole. <laughs> We for were the mixing foundation. The, for yeah, the foundation. Right. We were mixing the concrete by hand. Yeah. A year and a half. We were building this wall for a year and a half. Every day after school, we were coming, mixing concrete, putting it in the hole, doing it. Yeah. And it was just myself and my little brother. And I remember standing back, looking at that wall, saying, there's going to be a hole here forever. <laughs> there will never be anything <laughs> never but a hole exist. here. That's right. And a year and a half I don't later, have that many days. I know. <laughs> a year and a half later, we laid the the final brick. Yeah. And my father stood back with my brother and I and I know he planned this. He says he he says he didn't, but I know he was, had been planning this yeah. and writing this <laughs> for his <laughs> for for the past 2 years, but he we stood back, we looked at the wall and he looked at me and my brother and said, said "Don't y'all never tell me that you can't do, do something. something and walked into the shop. I was thinking along the lines of rugby 1% or little step by step um, and then when I sort of heard that analogy again from Will Smith, um, a video I'd watched a long long time ago, it popped back up in my feed, I, I had the bricks idea in my, my head uh, and then came up with the name Rugby Bricks and it's really taken off and I think um, yeah it rolls off the tongue, it's got the word rugby in it, I wanted uh, rugby union as a really uh, unique sport and got a unique community so I really wanted to have the name Rugby in there um, and then Rugby Bricks just rolls off the tongue really well and I think something when you when you understand that's the reason why you can understand the concept of all our content, detail, coaching um, programs and, and products that we put out there it is all targeted that same message just build your game step by step brick by brick.